Hello everyone, Ginma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Trials of Mana. Alright guys, so last time we went and defeated the last of the Benevidons, and this time we're basically going to be moving into the final act of the game, and I am super excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and call Flammy and get this going. So yeah, um, I guess my thoughts on all of the Benevidons so far, they were all really good. I'd say they actually managed to make all of them pretty close in quality <laughs> compared to the original. Um, there definitely were some that I liked more than others in the original. I think that still kind of applies here. Um, but they definitely managed to make them all about the same level of challenging, which I found kind of cool. Um, in general, yeah, I just really had a lot of fun with it. Um, in general, this remake is just great. <laughs> Um, but regardless. Said that the ancient capital was west of Puka Island. I know we can get stronger if we go to Peta. All right. Well, anyway, so Peta is kind of an interesting location. Uh, so when I was playing Heroes of Mana, uh, the main characters are actually from Peta, um, and I really was surprised by that because, well, okay, for one, um, I forgot what Peta was for a little bit. So I was kind of trying to figure out exactly why I, why that sounded familiar. Um, and where that was, because I didn't remember exactly what that nation was. And the main reason for that is they no longer exist in Trials of Mana. Um, now that is kind of explained in Heroes. I'll be, there, there's some holes in that, but I won't really go into too much detail with that, because then I'd have to explain the whole plot of Heroes. Um, so maybe I won't <laughs> entirely, um, but in general it's kind of a little weird. Um, but either way, here we are at the Jungle of Visions, and oh my gosh. Ah, the music. I love this music. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm going to have the run button turned on. So yeah, I did actually restart the game for a second. Um, <laughs> the main reason I just needed to take a break, and in general, it's just really hot in my room right now. We're in the summer now, so this is fun. I've been playing this game for like months in between these like videos and everything, so it's kind of like... I could have been in this a lot faster than now if I was just playing it on my own time, I'll be real with you. But I mean, hey, whatever. Oh man, here we are. The Ruins of Peta. Thank you, Trophy. Ancient Capital Peta. Wow. Yeah, no, it's definitely in ruins. Okay. Are you sure Peta is around here? It should be here. Hmm. Huh. Maybe we should rest somewhere before we search. Okay. So, I guess Fairy is almost implying, like, she didn't even know it got destroyed. Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense, um, but wow, wow. Okay, this 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 is pretty much one to one to the original map. All right, that actually has me kind of surprised. All right, well anyway, um, is there a little cactus here? No. Okay, let's go ahead and head right on into this building because there's nothing else for us to really do here. So let's go inside. And okay. Oh, yep. There's a voice there. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is all ruined. Welcome. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, rest until morning. <laughs> it reminds me of Majora's Mask, actually. Um, the uh, boat cruise. Because Kotake just kind of pops her head in through a hole. It's very weird. Oh! Oh, I like that detail! Oh my gosh, it was all in ruins and now it's all... Okay. I like that. Well, here we are, guys. Look at that. Peta's back. I wonder how this happened. Well, you'll find out. But either way, here we are. Oh my gosh. This is cool. Ah. It'd be really cool if there was a Heroes of Mana Easter egg here. Um, oh. I'm not sure if they will do it, though. The whole place looks different. This city is as strange as I heard. I bet we can find a lead on the Benevidon of Darkness here. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go ahead and actually buy some weapons. Hello, sir! Alright, so this is where you can get like the best weapons in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go for it. Um, this stuff is really expensive, but it looks like we can definitely afford it now. Um, let's go ahead and get the Sir Nuno's Rod. Heck yeah! And then there's the Doom Flail. Alright, sweet. So now let's go ahead and sell the weapons we do not want to use. Let's get rid of the Herald Sword, the Ghost Rod, and the Cybill Flail? Okay. So there we go. Anyway. Oh my gosh. So let me look at it. Okay. So that's what that looks like, huh? Um. Interesting design. Alright, well anyway, hello sir. 
In the far north on the sea west of Altena is a dragon island. The dragon lord you've all heard about lives in Crystal Desert, which covers half of the island. That dragon is scarily strong. He's smarter than humans, and that's not all. He even plans to, to level Peta to get rid of the stores of weapons and equipment. Ah, uh, yep. So it's also kind of interesting because in Heroes of Mana, um, the Dragon Lord is actually involved in the plot, um, but he doesn't really ever show up. Really? Okay. Um, hello, Charlotte. Wait one second. How did this? Oh my gosh! One second. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway. Wait one second. How did this town get here? Everyone seems so busy all of a sudden. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's find uh, Angela wherever she is. Uh, she could be up high. Oh my gosh, I get to go up here. Ah! Okay, I like this. Hi. <laughs> What's up? You found little cactus. Nice. Okay. So I need to find about four more, I believe. So that's going to be cool. Alright. Yeah, four more times. Sweet. So let's actually look at that. Uh, okay, there's only one more little cactus. Or no, I mean, we already got the little cactus here, so there's a treasure chest. Um, hello, ma'am. Word has spread of our quality gear and weapons. Famous knights are known to stop by too, you know. Hmm. Hey, kids. His Highness Prince Richard and the Golden Knight are going to beat up the Dragon Lord. Aw. Yeah, you guys remember those names? Did you see the prophecy? I don't really get it, but the old man that takes care of it can tell you more. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is Peta. Yeah, I, I, I can tell. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go ahead and head right on over here. Um, hello kid, what's up? The Gap Prince Richard and the Golden Knights give me their autographs. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the armor shop. Alright. There they are. Oh my gosh. Me, the Hero King? You must mean my father in Valsena. He's giving it... He is getting on in years, but he is still a great king. I'm merely a prince. There he is. Dad? Dad, is that you? You can't go off to fight the Dragon Lord! <laughs> Whoa! Calm down. My son is only five years old. Oh, you do look familiar. I hope my son grows into a fine man like you someday. Your Highness, preparations are ready. Let us be off to the Dragon Lord's Lair in Dragon's Maw. Agreed. Dad! So yeah, if you haven't guessed, uh, we're actually back in time, or at least some representation of back in time. I'm actually not sure which is which, but I think we actually are back in time, which is kind of interesting. Um, and that's kind of vaguely explained in Heroes of Mana, but um, there's one problem about that, which is that Peta had to have been destroyed before Loki came here, so it makes no sense for him to be buying armor and stuff here, but whatever. Either way, um, we're going to go ahead and buy all the good stuff, so let's go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll get that. Boom. So again, we should be able to afford everything safely. Um, there we go. Come on, Charlotte. Let's hold out long enough. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and sell our gear. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the regular armor and then we'll get rid of the helmets okay um, moonrise hat silver circlet shop and cowl okay there we go Come again. all right awesome so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go outside of this building and we're actually gonna go ahead and check out this spot now hello there's a mana stone scholar here you know have you seen him yet no I have not all right here we go this is gonna be cool hello old man this stone tablet contains the goddess's prophecy about the world's end. You can't read it. Fine. I will interpret the text for you. The world will fall to ruin. The tree will wither. The sword will be corrupted and despair will reign in the dragon's domain. But three heroes. 
the rest of the stone was broken off. I'm sure it further describes the world's destruction. <laughs> oh, thank you. Such but an optimist. we needn't worry yet. The Prince of Volsena and his golden knight are on their way to drive the dragons out. The dragon lord stands no chance. Okay, so you are optimistic. Since the prophecy said three heroes, it probably wasn't even talking about the dragon lord. His highness is suiting up as we speak, you know. Okay. Sure. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's kind of interesting. It's like this weird Aztec looking thing. Alright. Um. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah, uh, there's a monetary. Okay. That'd be cool if there was like an image of like a mirror or something. That'd be fun. Um. Okay. You can't read the ancient script. What does it mean by broken off? It doesn't really look broken. Well, I mean, whatever then. <laughs> Alright, well, either way, um, I think there's actually a few more spots we need to check out, so let's go ahead and head right over here. Um, hello, sir. Oh, well, yes, I am a Mana Stone Scholar. <clears throat> there were once eight Mana Stones, but alas, with the Dark Stone lost, there are only seven. However, after exhaustive research, I have concluded that the Dark Stone could be around Dragon's Maw. Most likely in Crystal Desert. Now we know where to head next! My dad? It had to be. What's going on? For now, we better head to Crystal Desert. Okay, well that's kind of fascinating. I am missing one treasure chest though. Um, it isn't showing it here here so it's probably wait no 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 I see it okay so let's go ahead and go over and grab that and then we'll make our way over oh hey there's Angela <laughs> okay I didn't see you over there what's up something is definitely up with the flow of time around here is the loss of mana power in the world causing the town to slip into the past hmm that's an interesting theory all right well let's go ahead and go inside of here and hello sir hold up I'm worried about the. Dr I'm worried the dragon lord will destroy the city. I feel it in my bones. I can barely get any sleep. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, anyway, with that, I want to thank you guys. All right. What, what am I doing? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to the dragon's maw, and I am super super excited again we're getting up towards the end of the game and this is gonna be cool uh, but first we have to go through the glass desert and this part is going to be kind of interesting i don't know how big this area is going to be um in general this last stretch is going to be kind of lengthy if i remember correctly uh, the final dungeon in particular no matter which route you do is always very labyrinthian and large um so again i'll see how they remade it um Oh man, I'm looking forward to the final level theme in particular. That's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> now we can give the Benevadon of Darkness a real fight. Wasn't gonna. Time to go to Crystal <laughs> Desert. Don't you disappoint me, Duran. All right, here we go. The Glass Desert or the Crystal Desert. Oh man. <laughs> All right, one second, guys. Okay, very sorry about that. I got interrupted again. Um, but regardless, let's go ahead and... Oh my gosh, this looks cool. Ah! So I like this, the Crystal Desert. I don't know. When I was a kid, uh, when I heard there was a glass desert, that sounded really bad. Like, could you imagine the heat? Good lord. Um, but no. Alright, it's the glass desert. Here's Crystal Desert. Just like that scholar and Peta told us about. Let's go find that dark stone, Duran. Once the Benevadon is gone, we have to save my mother, okay? Sure. Of course. Oh my gosh, I love that. Alright, well anyway, here we go. So one thing that is going to suck about this, obviously, is now Charlotte isn't really, like, super relevant to the plot. So you're probably going to inherently hear uh, Angela say a whole lot more, um, which I'm perfectly fine with. Again, uh, I'll get around to Charlotte's route probably during a stream series or something. But regardless, oh my gosh. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys also enjoy this really dark, ominous music, because you're going to be hearing this for a while. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, we're still kind of over-leveled, it looks like. So, probably don't have to worry too much about, you know, all of that. 
<laughs> okay, so we still need to find two little cactuses. Uh, luckily, I can see all the treasure chests, so that's nice. Um, so let's go ahead and attack this guy. Okay. Alright, here we go. Spin Slash. Well, what's nice about this at the very least is it's not going to be moving me around, so that's good. Um, but, okay. So let's go ahead and attack that Guardian. Nope. Alright, well, he's dead. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the shifting sand is kind of a problem. Just a little bit, though. Okay. So yeah, the other thing is the game has also telegraphed that, yeah, uh, the Benevidon of Darkness is actually in the area, so that's something that I need to keep an eye out for. Um, okay, so... Way up there is... Okay. Jeez, we need to get a move up. Oh my god, Charlotte, can you like use healing white, please? Okay, so I think I have to loop around to get that treasure chest. Honestly, yeah, this is very similar to the original level layout. I'm remembering this now. Again, it's pretty cool that they, you know, managed to change things up, but like also still keep true to some of the placement of the area. It, it, it's this is such a surreal remake because. Um, again, there's like things where it's like, oh, I recognize that, but then at the same time, it's also like, okay, well, it, it, I don't 100% recognize that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's very weird. This is a very weird remake. Um, where the frick does that go? Does that take me underground or something? Kid Draconis. Ha! I don't know if that's a reference to, um... So the Dragon Lord's name, which is never really said in game, but apparently it is his name, is Draconis. So that's cool. Um, there is a Draconis in Legend of Mana, but they are it's a completely different character. It just kind of has the same name. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but regardless, let's go ahead and keep killing that basilisk. And all right. Is there anything particular up there? Hold up. I need to see. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, well, I'm underground now. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm glad I came down here. Hey, little cactus, what's up? Alright, well, that's interesting. Hmm. Alright, so there's these enemies. Oh my gosh. Okay. So these guys are never a good thing uh, in the original game. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys have an instant death move. No, I think it's actually the eyeballs that do. So I need to actually take out those things. Um, let's go ahead and take that guy down. Come on. Wow, he does not want to fall down. Hmm. Wow, do you just do fire style fireball jutsu, my guy? Okay. That's a, a Naruto joke. A very classy anime for very classic, classy people. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and grab that money, and let's move right on up here. Hi. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna like move around. Okay, or not. Um. All right. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, here we go. Cross cut. Boom. Okay. So anyway, I suppose the one thing that kind of sucks right now is we don't have Saint Saber. Um. Which would be really useful, but hey, you know, that's not how things are, obviously. Um, we would have had it, actually, if we took Charlotte down to light route, but eh, whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's keep moving this way. That was still funny during last part, though, when Angela just started gliding off into the distance. I was just so out of nowhere. I did not expect that at all. Um, I don't think you guys expected it either, though, but still. Um, oh! See, I went over here looking for a treasure chest, but I found a little cactus instead. Hey, sometimes it'd be like that, I guess. Alright, so we need to find two more of them. So that's nice. So they're probably in the final dungeon. So I guess I'll keep an eye out for them. So that means the treasure chest is up there. So let's go ahead and climb up this one. Okay, so I can jump over that. 
All right. Well, anyway, um, sorry if you guys are hearing noises. Um, let's go ahead and jump over here. Okay, sweet. That worked out. Okay, so we found 3,400 lucre. Sweet. Sweet. All right. <laughs> so, anyway, um, then there's that one treasure chest, which is kind of like... Okay, I see it now. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that. Ah, Zabel Far's ring. Hmm. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to try and get up there. I guess the key thing is to try and find spots where the collision is, like, in my favor. There we go. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So that's nice. All right, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and grab that, and I guess we'll... Can we do the same thing here? Maybe not as successfully. Okay, so where is like this sand coming from is the question. Maybe I can go up here somehow? I don't know, we can find out. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not how I'm intended to do this per se. Um, at the same time, how else am I supposed to get up there? Uh, huh. Okay, actually, no, this sand seems much more traversable, because it's not steep. Okay, so the steep ones are the ones you can't do that to. Alright, well, that's noted. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah, okay. So they kind of want me to do things that way. Well, that's good to know. Um, boom. I still love the dragons. I don't know. <laughs> Their design is so goddamn cute. And the fact that they're just kind of maintained, like, completely is awesome to me. I don't know. Boom! Yeah, the combos are kind of interesting. Like, it, it's a slight change, but it does make it so I'm not, like, mashing buttons so much. Um, which is definitely nice. Okay, there we go. So anyway... I think after this next boss fight, I'm gonna start. Well, okay, maybe I should actually allocate those points I've gotten. Um, so let's put this towards capping out strength, and then, hmm, what's a good one to have? I already capped that out. Um, maybe, hmm, yeah, let's put a point towards intelligence. Why not? Okay, so let's go ahead and level this up. So, I guess spirit, that'll do well. Um, and then we'll get Dark Saber. That'll be really nice, depending on the situation. Okay. Anyway, so then there'll be, uh, I guess strength. I don't know. I could spend points on intelligence. I think that would turn out well. Um, okay. And then for Angela, um, again, all of that is going right into intelligence, so we can learn that skill faster. Oh, almost. <laughs> well, I need, like, one level up, and then I think she'll be able to do it, so that'll be nice. Um, and I need to actually look over my, uh, skill list pretty soon as well. But anyway, um, I can't go in there? Huh. Okay. How big is this area? Honestly, I have no idea. I, again, the final areas tend to be kind of longer in the original game, so I wonder how that's going to translate over to this one, because in general, it seems like they've kind of made this game, um, in many areas, the pace seems a lot faster. But some of it might also be, like... <laughs> It's kind of weird. I had like a very similar feeling when I played, uh, what was it, the Link's Awakening remake? Which is honestly a lot more uh, faithful and one-to-one -one than this remake is. But the thing is with that game, obviously, is, you know, the original game was a 2D game, um, and it was like separated by screens. And they kind of got rid of the screens in the Link's Awakening remake, so it's kind of weird. Um, Alright. Anyway. Oh, those are spikes. They're gonna... Okay. All right, well, that's good to know. Um, hmm. Wait, what's the point of going over there? Hold up, I want to go inside. Hold up. That's to be a point of being in here, right? Uh, okay, well, I'm missing two treasure chests. I know that for sure. Oh, well, there's one right there. Okay. All right, well, I wonder what's inside of it. Well, again, the other thing is I already kind of promoted, so I wonder, like... <laughs> Honestly, in my opinion, you shouldn't wait too long to promote in this game. Um, but, I mean, I suppose now that that witch lady is going to allow you to kind of, like, backtrack the levels and everything, it won't be too bad. 
Um, I do wonder though, uh, considering like the reclass option that they have, like how that works. Because um, I imagine there are some skills you just will lose out on. You think? I don't know. Okay. We got a silver item seed out of that, so that's nice. Um, let's go outside here again. It'll pop me out. Yeah, right there. So where is that last treasure chest then? Hmm. Okay, so there's more areas here, obviously. So let's go ahead and keep moving. But okay. Well, anyway, um, let's get moving over here. I'm not gonna fight everything. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, those actually hurt a lot. Uh, that's not nice. Oh yeah, there's the same point. So here's also something that is uh, kind of interesting about every single final area. Um, there will be a sa all the same statues have their heads broken off, um, which is just like so defiant of the bad guys to do. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of an interesting foreboding detail. Um, Anyway, so let's go ahead and attack that beholder. Come on. Okay. Could you, like... Oh, I got strong. I see. Uh, let's go for... Holy Bolt Plus. Come on. Okay, there we go. So, what is he weak to? Um... Does it say? I guess I'll find out. Let's use diamond shards. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess now I know. Um. I wish it said it while I was hovering over the option, to be honest. But I mean, hey, I guess that works. It's like one step more. I realize that it's not like that bad, but I feel like it would save me a lot of time in the long run. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and save. <laughs> All right, let's save right about um, hmm, right here. I think that'll be good. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. This is gonna be the next big fight. Look there! It's the dark stone. Wait, why? Oh man. So here we are, the last Benevidon, guys. <laughs> he just sucks you into a pocket dimension. Ooh, this music. Three of Dark Side. <laughs> okay, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hey, Angela. Could you, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's use Moonsaber on myself now. Alright. Oh, I think that's the one that it takes. Okay. No. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, keep using your light magic, please. Um, hmm. Okay, I think I was healing him. Okay, uh, let's use... Oh, what the frick? Um, I think Dark Saber would end badly, obviously. So, yeah, okay. Here we go. So let's actually set um, Holy Bull. I think it's already set. No, it isn't. Okay. Let's set that right now over to Triangle. Okay. Come on. Boom. Oh man, here's the third head. Wait, really? 
Why did the music change to this? Okay. Is that a glitch? I feel like this shouldn't be the music. Okay. Well, interesting. Um. I'm gonna hold up. I feel like this is a glitch. Okay, no. Alright, well, that's weird. But no, in the original, it's supposed to be the same music the whole time. Alright, well, that's just distracting. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, uh. <laughs> buttons. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep doing that, and then, um. During. So, evidently, uh, the one that restores all my HP, um, does no damage to this boss, so that's fun. Okay, let's do Hollow Slash. Man, the other heads just died way too fast, though. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely because of the... Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, let's go for the main one. Bombtastic. Ha <laughs> ha. Such a weird boss fight. Okay. Um, Charlotte. Just in case. Okay. So I also don't really know how many of the bosses here are actually going to be weak to Dark Saber. I think about it. That would have been a lot more useful for um, Light Gazer, but hey, we may able to deal with it. Okay. Come on. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and use Feeling White. Okay. So I do know one thing for sure. Keeping the other heads alive is definitely going to make this fight a little more hectic. Okay. Um. Hot shot, let's go. Okay. So let's actually try something out really quick. Um. I want to see, so that's a weakness. Okay, so absorbs. Obviously. Okay. Um. Hmm. Ooh. Charlotte, healing light, please. Jeez. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry about my commentary here, guys. It's just kind of like, alright, well, I, we're just focusing on the boss. Because, again, I think we're doing enough damage that so this is actually turning out pretty worth it. But we're definitely spending a lot of MP on this crud. Um, and the debuffs are definitely a problem. Um, Alright, so you're gonna use that move now. Oh, he's spawning. Oh. Alright, I'm probably not gonna even lock on. This is gonna get crazy. Alright, cool. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, let's do bombtastic. 
<laughs> Come on, let's do Hollow Slash. Okay, there we go. And then Angela, we're gonna use Hot Shot. Oh, well, bye, Charlotte. Okay. Come on, Charlotte. Come on. All right. Um, healing white. Okay. I'm gonna ignore the freaking gremlin. Okay. Cross slash. Let's go. Come on. Cross cut. Yeah! There we go. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, that fight was... <laughs> it felt like that one was the least change from the original, except I think like the other heads died faster, and actually spawning the other enemies. I don't think that was in the original. Um, that made it a little more hectic. Yeah, that was, was good. That was a good fight. <laughs> the music thing bothered the heck out of me though because that's just the area theme I don't know why that kicked in I feel like that wasn't intentional the dark stone reappearing in this realm must have triggered the portal to the sanctuary Oh no! Oh no! It was a trap! Huh? Our enemies absorb the powers of each of the eight Benabadons after we defeated them! How did they do them. that? Okay. That means everything we did just just made the bad guy stronger. I can't let him win. Not like this. That's a legitimate question. I, I know that's part of the original plot, but like, but how though? How how did they do that? That's just my big question here. That's all I'm asking. Um, but okay. Anyway, so there we go. That was fun. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and progress. Um, is there a treasure chest? Yes, there is up there. Okay. So anyway, oh well, it's nighttime now. Well, ain't that fitting? Oh my gosh. Uh, yep, there's the dragon's maw. It's the final dungeon. Ah! <laughs> this is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab that though. Um, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. Um, but. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save right here and tell you what, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this part of Trials of Mana. Yes, I'm going to cliffhanger right here um, because there's actually something coming up inside of there and you guys don't know what it is yet, but it's going to be great. Um, but yes, we're going right into the Dragon's Maw and we're going to be just... Uh, we're going to beat the game soon and I'm just... I love this remake. It's great. Um, that last Benevidon was not all that interesting I've, <laughs> I'm really over leveled here I should have just ran through each of the areas but whatever it's fine uh, but seriously thank you guys so much for tuning into this part hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next part of Trials of Mana and yeah hope you guys enjoyed <laughs>